Time to finish the hardest job in the world off. Hey, you're good at making me lose my mind, but I always come around, don't I? All right, Casey's cutting the plaster line. Well, as you can see, another one. These, this is on the back, this. What have I got there? Tip. Lovely, so we need a good... Well, we need 70, so there, to the line, is going to give us a... Yeah. To make up Something to seal to. A lot of work. Well, that was the hardest one yet. All fixed in there, let me tell you that was the hardest one yet. Because behind the plaster, you know we're cutting all the plaster line back, and behind the actual plaster was solid, like like concrete. It was that hard, the cement, so trying to cut it back was absolute nightmare, but we got there. We've damaged a bit of plaster. We can't be helped, you see, because we're trying to cut that, honestly, so solid that. Rock hard, that mix. We can fight all day It's all trimmed up now, just need plastering and sealing. They're mastic pants again. another window finish and let me tell you that has been the hardest window I've ever done my dad's still finishing it outside he's gonna point up the sides and try and blend it in but yeah that is the hardest window we've certainly done it in 2018 I can't remember a window being so hard certainly a test of all our skills this window Half a day to do one window. You can make it so it's unescapable. You don't wanna be got a little story for you. So yesterday we found at my mum and dad's house we found a baby wood pigeon, it must have fell out of a nest somewhere, so it was it was near a front drive and my dad's front drive. So what we did, it had one eye open and one eye closed, so we took it to the vets and they took me details and yeah, so we, that's the only thing we could think of now, this morning I've come to my dad's and I've seen another wood pigeon on the floor at the side of um, a drive where there's a big massive tree and I see there was a nest there so I'm obviously thinking it's fell out of the nest it was on its floor, it was looking dead young so I took it back to the vets again and they said, oh sorry we can't take it now you better put it in the original nest where you found it. So they said we can't take the, the pigeon here and the, the one you brought yesterday, we couldn't keep it. So I think they had to put it down, I'm afraid. So I've actually got it now. I don't know what to do with it. I'm gonna take it to, there's a shop near where I live. Um, see what they say. And see what they say, it specializes in birds. But what, what I actually did is I did what the vet said. I got a ladder and I put it back in the nest. And then we come back to the job, which is not far away, but then about, Half an hour later, I thought I can't leave that bird there, it's not right. So I went back to mum and dad's and it, it had fell out again. It, a piece of, it had a branch around its neck, it was flapping its wings. And one of our cats, Lucy, was at the bottom waiting for it like this. So I thought I've got to get up there and take it and just try and keep hold of it and feed it or something. If it's going to die here with me, I don't mind that. Rather than a horrible death being eaten by a cat and strangled by trees. Hey 
guys. This is the little wood pigeon. Still doing alright. It only brings confusion to our souls. We're on our way up to Adlington Pet Store now. We've got a bit of advice from Google, so we're going to get some hand rearing food. He's certainly a warrior. Yeah, just needs a bit of strength. Well, we're just going some food and water, but he's just died now, so damn. Well, we tried everything, but it didn't work. Absolutely gutted. Gonna wave goodbye to that old door. I shouldn't let him struggle. Come here, I'll carry it. Tell you what, I'm tired this morning, boys and girls. Finished late at the theatre last night, had a drink after, as you do. And then up early for grafting. No rest for the wicked. KC here rocking the winter best brick yet. Even if it's over. Right, KC's hot tip today is just the measurement of the door. When you when you're checking the measurement of the door, beware that the plaster line could have been double boarded as it is on this job. If you look here, boarded out. So what, we, what we've got there on the plaster line is 35mm either side, which is quite a lot. It's even more that side, yeah. I think. So, what you do is measure the plaster line before anything. Check inside, that's 910. Just add 15 either side, and you can't go wrong. You don't want to go. That's Casey's hot tip of the day. There's our bonnie doors. It's white on the inside and black on the outside. boys and girls so the front door's in now it's fixed in just needs finishing off inside and out uh, so I'm gonna crack on taking the back door out so that's why that's another reason why you have to reduce your your door because if you measure straight to the brick that this inch is gonna be behind the plaster line isn't it Kebab King, feel like I'm making a kebab. Unibonding. Unibonding. It's 11 o'clock now, we've got the front door in, we're just about to put the sill in and the back door in, but I'm gonna go to the pie shop and get some meat pies now. Boot time, Casey. Dad's just saying, if anybody's watching, remembers this old wallpaper. What's it called? It's called wood chip. Wood chip and wallop or something. <laughs> wood chip and wallop. Bang it on, wood chip and wallop. Look at that. There's our back door with a satin glass. If this is something you're telling me, I gotta read between the lines. Don't you worry, it's plain to see. We rehearse so many. Okay guys, so that is the front door finished. We just need to get the back door sorted now. It's about half one now. Okay guys, that's it, that's the end of the job. Been a really tough one, but worth it in the end. A bit fiddly here and there. I've had a bit of a rough week. My car's broke and that pigeon did me head in. Anyway guys, thanks for joining us. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>